Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can design better forms for mobile designs. Having a well-designed form is crucial to help you convert more users for the task at hand and ensure a better user experience when users are providing new information. Many of the best apps out there today place a lot of emphasis on the designs of their forms in order to hit their objectives. I'm going to show you some techniques you can use that will help you create better forms as well. Using only a placeholder for your forms isn't the best idea from a user experience or accessibility point of view for a few key reasons. First, if you've only got a placeholder, a user loses their label as soon as they begin typing. When they're looking back on the form, if they can't remember what the field was, they're going to feel confused, which could potentially lead to a bounce. Second, the placeholder text is often slightly transparent. If you've got anyone with eyesight issues, having a 100% opacity label as well as the placeholder text is a great way to cover all your bases in regards to accessibility. When you're designing a form, it's all about eliminating the amount of friction a user faces. Using a single column helps reduce this friction by keeping things in a consistent up and down motion as opposed to them having to look left, right, up and down. Keeping this clear path for a user's journey helps them better understand what they need to do and allows them to remain focused. This is especially important for mobile because the device is longer vertically than it is horizontally. For mobile users, up and down is a more natural motion than side to side. The worst thing you can do with a form is drop too many fields on a user, especially asking for information that they may perceive to be creepy. Asking for information such as the phone type, location and so on can all be done in a much more effective manner. For Android and iOS, both operating systems carry access to a range of permissions you can request from a user that saves them filling in the forms. Provided you really do need it, you can save yourself a few fields on the form if you can fit those permissions into the information you need and save your users valuable time. There's nothing more frustrating for a user than seeing an error, but not knowing where that error actually is in the form. Provide errors in the particular field that has a problem as opposed to a generic message at the top or bottom of the form. Finally, if there is an error, be sure to stipulate why the error occurred in that field through the use of a small piece of error text. For example, if there's a space where there shouldn't be one, tell the user that. Remember, it's all about eliminating that friction for the user. Make sure you grey out the submit button to continue when the form is not yet complete. This saves the user banging the submit button numerous times only to find they're not done, receiving error messages and becoming increasingly frustrated. By hiding it, that implies to the user that there is something that they've missed and they need to complete. Once the button turns green, it then becomes clear that it's time to move on for the next step and they've done everything that's required. 